Hi Iwi, this is Patrick here. Um, this video is a tutorial on how to take photos from your camera, put them on your computer, and send them by email. Uh, what you're looking at here is the desktop of our Macintosh laptop. And what I'd like to do is take you through the steps in transferring the photos. Uh, so we need a few things in order to do that. Um, you have a Mac at home, and I couldn't remember whether you had set a laptop or whether it was a desktop, uh, but I'll explain this either way. Um, you have a camera, and I understand that you have this camera, the Coolpix L22. I don't know if it's red or not, but your camera should basically look like this. So you should have that available, and it should currently be turned off. Um, along with the camera, you have a cable, and the two ends of the cable should look something like this. Um, there should be a small end and a large end. The small end will go into the camera. The large end will go into the computer. The large end is also known as a USB jack. Um, then on your computer you should have a USB port. Now if it's a laptop, um, the port will be on the side of the laptop and it will look something like this. The red arrow is pointing to the actual port, the USB port, and the white arrow is pointing to the universal symbol for USB. It looks like a little trident. Now if you have a desktop, these same ports are available on the back of the desktop and those ports look something like this. You'll find these maybe four, maybe two, depending on which version you have, you have more or less of these. And these are on the back of your computer. Again, they have the trident symbol with each of them. So uh, these are the things you need in order to uh, complete this task. Um, I'm going to zero out of these photos. Um, so what we're going to do before we um, do anything else is we're going to hook up the camera to the computer. Again, the camera is off. I have a photo here of the connection scheme. Uh, this is right out of the handbook, the user manual for your camera. And you see in this picture, here's your camera and we see the bottom of the camera here. In a more expanded view, what we see is there's a little plastic piece on the bottom of the camera and you pull that away and underneath that plastic piece is a, a hole. Um, it's a port and the small end of that cable is going to go into that port. It has a specific shape. It only goes into the port in one way. Um, now the cable um, goes and it's connected to the computer by way of that USB jack. Again, it has the trident symbol on it. It's bigger than the other end of the cable. Uh, so at this point you should be hooking your camera to your computer via this cable. And the camera is still off. Now, the next thing to do is you're going to open up your iPhoto. iPhoto is Apple's um, photo software and it comes with all Mac computers and you'll find it in one of two places. It is very likely that it is on the dock of the computer. I, I have my computer set up that the dock disappears until I point down at it. This dock might always be available to you depending on how your computer is set up. Um, what you're looking for, the icon that you're looking for, looks something like this. It should look like a camera with a photo. Depending on what version you have, the icon looks a tiny bit different, but it should always look like a camera and a photo. Now, maybe you don't use the dock, or maybe you have the dock here but for whatever reason, iPhoto is not included in the dock. 
If you don't have iPhoto down here, you can find iPhoto in your applications. In order to do that, you go and you open up the main hard disk of your computer. Um, and most people have this icon symbol on the desktop. And you double click that. Um, and you go to Applications. Over here on the left side, Applications. And these are in alphabetical order, so I'm just going to type in iPhoto. Or I can scroll down to it either way. There it is, iPhoto. So I've shown you two ways to open up your iPhoto. You can go into Applications by way of the hard disk of your computer or you can go to your dock. Again, um, if you're using the dock and it hasn't been uh, changed too much from when you first started the computer, you should find the iPhoto symbol in the dock. So I'm going to open up iPhoto. Um, currently my iPhoto has no photos in it. Um, um, I did this for demonstration purposes. If you don't have any photos in it, you'll get a screen that looks something like this and it'll say something about getting started with iPhoto. Connect a camera. So, so this is what iPhoto looks like. And over on the left you have what's called the launch bar. Um, and this will be critical here in a moment. So now what I'm doing is right now is I'm turning on the power on my camera. It's all hooked to the computer by way of the cable. I've turned on the computer. Maybe you hear it buzz or uh, beep in the background. And voila, some photos showed up. And now in the quick launch bar, you see devices S570. That's because the camera I have is a Coolpix S570. The story behind this camera actually is that uh, Tim had this camera at work but he realized he was never using it so he gave it to us and we've been equally good about not using it so far um, however we've simply been waiting until Tom and Hazel are old enough not to break it and so they'll have a camera to play with so this is the Coolpix S570 it hooks into the computer just like your L22 so I've hooked it on and I've turned on the computer and there are two photos in the camera. One is of Tim and he took that photo sometime in the past. And then a second photo I took tonight just for demonstration purposes. Now depending on the version of the iPhoto this might look all a little different from this but the concept, concepts are basically the same. And you should see a button that says import selected or import photos. Um, in this case I'm going to select these photos and I'm going to say import selected and I hit the import and iPhoto always does this it says delete photos on your camera delete photos or keep photos I always keep them in case I screw up then I can go back again um, and then I get the photos back off my camera but that's a video for another day so I'm going to hit keep photos and now we're done with the camera the photos are now on your computer um, what I'm going to do is I'm turning the power off the camera and you now see over here in the launch bar that the camera icon is gone and we have two photos they're in iPhoto they're on your computer now you want to share them. So to share them what you're going to do is you're going to click on a photo and you highlight it. I want both photos so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the command key. It's in the left lower corner of your keyboard. It looks a little bit like a clover leaf. I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to click on the other photo and I'll do that for as many photos as I want to share. Um, in this case, of course, just two photos. They're both highlighted. And now I'm going to share. To share, I'm going to go up to the file menu, or excuse me, uh, the menu bar at the top of iPhoto and click on the word share. 
and I'm going to go down I'm going to choose email I click on email and now the computer automatically generates an email um, that uh, um, has the photos embedded in them there's Fa and there's my other picture which is actually a picture of the computer um, and I'm going to type in the address I'm going to send it to Iwi there you go the subject line is photos from two events and it's from my Mac account um, and now I'm going to hit send and the secret here is uh, that I've actually already sent these before um, my computer is asking me for my password to send these photos which I just have set up as a uh, security measure so I'm just putting in my password and now the email is off to the races I've actually done this twice else tonight as I was experimenting with this to make sure this was all going to work for you so you've now gotten the same email three times I apologize okay so now I've emailed those to you so you might be saying but gosh I use Gmail I don't like to use the um, email that's uh, part of my computer I'll show you one other way to share these photos the two photos are still highlighted I'm now going to go back up to the menu bar and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to export I'm going to export these photos I hit export I get this box that asks well do you what kind of photo do you want to um, and it gives a kind of photo and quality and a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of unnerving what I'd like for you to do is go to um, this kind the very top one kind I'm going to click on that and there's some choices but at the top is original if you click on original the rest of these choices gray out and now all you're going to do is hit export um, it's going to ask you where you want to put them I usually put these things on the desktop so I'm going to click desktop I'm going to click OK and now these pictures are on my desktop so now I'm going to exit iPhoto and we see now the two pictures right here on the desktop now if I had Gmail I would go in open up my Gmail account set up an email to whomever in this case presumably me and I would attach the two photos to my email I'm assuming you know how to do that if you don't I'm happy to send a follow-up video on how to attach a photo to an email this now concludes the video tutorial on how to download photos off your Coolpix L22 camera onto your computer via iPhoto and how to email those pictures either directly out of iPhoto or how to export the photos to another location where you can access them and use your Gmail account to email them. I hope this has been helpful. Good night.